What's up? What's up? Oh, I like the way I look on that camera. Ooh, you oh, Kurt. you Kurt, Kurt. I don't know where to look. Okay, you don't know where to look? You can probably gonna look cockeyed on here. It, it's hard okay, to. Okay, so right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, right here, but lens. you know, I. But then I, I like looking at myself. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So I, I understand. <laughs> Tell them about your YouTube channel and your music, Monet yes. Monroe. Tell them where to follow you and all of that. Okay, you can look me up on. Google. Hey. Google me. Okay. I'm Google. just saying. But you can. Like, Monet Monroe, M O N A E, M O N R O E. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I have other social media sites, but y'all yeah, just follow me on there. Right. Facebook and name. Instagram. Right. Tell them about your music, you know. Okay. So, I'm a artist. I can sing and rap. I like to rap mostly. She I got some dope lyrics. I write my own lyrics. That's and dope. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. You know? It does. Her music is gonna be on my YouTube videos. Like, if she's okay with, it, I don't have to worry about the patent. Uh, well, not patent, but the copyright. I ain't gotta worry about all that. I can just go to her. Do you want to put on my channel? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's dope. So I, I have her link in the description when I when I record when I edit this video. Look at that. Look at that girl. Look, 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 look at that girl. Hold on. Let's, let's zoom in, girl. Look. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Ooh. 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 Eyebrows. Fleeky. Oh, fleek. These my real eyebrows too. I ain't use no pencil either. Girl, you about to tell them. Hold on. Look at that. Alright, so have you ever had a friendship that, you know, <laughs> have you ever have you ever fallen out with a friend okay no i have not but no for the most part when it comes to males no i have not fallen out with a male friend um i don't have that many friends um i have a lot of acquaintances acquaintances and uh you know i'm cool with a lot of people but you know i don't consider them like you know friends right you know not trying to be mean it's not um, you know but like my genuine friends has been there for a while that I've been knowing for a long time. No, we haven't fallen out. If we have disagreements, we uh, know how to communicate with each other to solve it and move on, you know. But uh, for the most part, no. When it comes to women friends, not really. Not really falling out with a lot of women friends. You know, we had our fallout for a little little second with... Just we a cool, little you know. Second. Everybody know, you know. About three times, good. but you know, you just like, a little... Three times. Maybe twice. Twice. Oh, it was one time. It was one time. We disagreed. Check on your pregnant friends. <laughs> <laughs> what about your male friends? You don't ever get checked on. We I just, check on you. That's so weird. What? what? I just, hey, how are you doing? How you doing? Not lately. That has happened probably. I have done it. You, you done it. You done it. You done it. So I ain't do it though. You've done it. Okay, we even. We good. Yeah. No yeah. Power to the people. <laughs> Let's talk. Hey y'all, real, real quick. Okay, yeah. So, with my friend fallouts, you know, mm -hmm. I have friends that, you know, well, I've had friends that will get into it and then we'll have like disagreements, like, and it'll get bad. And it shouldn't get to the point where it's so bad that, you know, you're dogging your friend out, right. calling them out of their name, right, right. threatening to tell their business. Right. I've never threatened to tell anybody's business, but that always happens to me. Like, I'll have those friends. They're not really my friends. Right. I'll have those friends that threaten to put my business out there or talked about me behind my back. Those are not really friends, no. and I'm glad those people are out of my life. And, like, I've had friends that try to want to pull up and fight and yeah, I'm like, you that's, know, that's we too grown for exactly. that. Exactly, it shouldn't you know? get get to that point, you know. Right, right, right. Um, so I've outgrown those people, mm -hmm. and like the friends that I have now, I can talk to them, communicate with them, let them know the issue. We'll apologize to each other for feeling some type of way about certain things, mm -hmm. um, and we'd be good. We don't hold grudges towards each other. That's great. You know, we, we're good. Like, I love my friends I have now, even though it's, like, a few. And so, that's fine. I, mean, I think that sometimes, well, a lot of times, we get acquaintances mixed up with friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody who you may give the friend role. Exactly. I've been acquaintances so long, you think that y'all have a friendship. And right, it's right. not real. Like, right, right. You know, they're not meant to be in right. your life long term it's a short-term friendship i yeah. guess you could say acquaintance yeah. but yeah so 
that's, that's very important, you know, to keep uh, a good circle around you. It doesn't yeah. have to be big. So I think people like to have a lot of friends. That and it's lonely. not good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not no. good. It's just too many egos. Exactly, you know. exactly. You it's, have somebody in competition with you over right. here. Exactly. Like jealousy. No. Yeah. Spread positivity. Let's talk about the Black Lives Matter versus the All Lives Matter and what's going on. You can explain to them what Black Lives Matter means. Okay. Um, first. To and me, then we can talk about protests. But I think to me, Black Lives Matter means that our lives in this country as black people have never mattered. Okay. What it, the reason why people are saying Black Lives Matter is because it's never mattered. If it if it mattered, we wouldn't have to say that it mattered. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for example, uh, we start at the back, and we have to run longer distances to keep up with our white counterparts, even though we may even have more experience, be more qualified. It'll take longer for us to get to certain points than white people. You have to work and harder. You got to work harder yeah. when you're black. So that's just one example though. So when it comes to the the racial um injustices in the in the systematic racism stuff, like, you know, it's harder to get jobs when you're black. Um it's it's a lot of states right now that they don't have to hire you if you have dreads. And, exactly. and that is come on man. That's that's just a hairstyle. Exactly. So, but who's wearing that hairstyle mostly? Exactly. A it's black, black man. person. Mm -hmm. So right, black male mostly. So and that's to weed out more black people so you can hire more white people. That's yeah. just something that is fact. It's not like it's a conspiracy. It's not it's a fact. It's a thing that happens all the time. You get pulled over by the police. You don't you you really have to be super respectful and you still may get an attitude from a lot of police officers right yep yep not saying that all of them are bad duh we know that we know that all cops aren't bad we know that they're we're saying that right we're saying that it's a majority that are that have this systematic racism and this stereotype stuff that they're taught mm -hmm. and they bring it out to the streets a so lot of these, people that mm -hmm. um were hired as police officers that right. are part of the kkk exactly you know and you exactly. can't differentiate the two like how how is the person hiring you gonna know that you were racist you know they're right. not gonna know you're racist they don't care well yeah know? that's true so yeah. and you wouldn't understand unless you redo the research or if you're black yeah as, as a white person you really wouldn't understand it At because all. Like, but it, it's, I'm happy to see that it is a lot of white people that are well, mainly our age group, though. Like, they kind of understand mm -hmm. a little bit better what we're going through and what it's like. Yeah. Because they li they actually live among us. It, that's what Black Lives Matter means to me. Yeah. When you say all lives matter, I think that's, a, that's an insult to it Black is. Lives Matter. Yeah. Because... Y'all's lives have always mattered. Always. Always. So, you know, y'all always have the one up. You know, as a white person, you always have the one up because exactly. things are going to be much easier for you. Even just stuff like uh, two parent households. That's a big thing. And it's something we lack in our community. That puts us behind, too. You know, so then on top of it, you got to deal with systematic racism and all this. All lives won't matter until black lives matter. I agree with this. COVID-19, man, it's just so much stuff going on with COVID-19. It's really, it really has changed the world. And I don't know the exact statistic. I'm going to have to get back to y'all on that. But it's actually more common in the black community. Mm -hmm. Like, one reason is because we can't afford health care. We call it conspiracy. I call it eh, not a coincidence to me, knowing the history of different diseases and stuff like that that has been it seems like implanted in us i mean that's mm -hmm. you know that's a whole different topic COVID is, is affecting everyone definitely yeah and it's been it's been strange like being off work for three months that was great <laughs> that was great yeah just, but you know relaxation yeah relaxation you get to mm -hmm. chill yeah and you know recover and stuff yeah. and working all the time that was great, yeah. but you know, of course, the situation is not good because like not people good. are dying, right? Right, and yeah. like you know, it's attacking your lungs, like yeah, it's scary. You know, it's, it's a real thing. 
and there's no cure right so it's just like you know I don't know it's pretty scary it is it pretty definitely scary. is scary and they're talking like it's gonna be another wave of yes. it you know it's hard for viruses to survive in heat mm -hmm. but you know as time goes on like people are still gonna be carrying it carrying it so yeah. it's just like when the winter time gets here it may grow more it may spread more yeah. because it, it you know it, it thrives in the cold so ah, it's gonna be tough man you just gotta stay safe try to keep your hands washed you keep yeah. your hands washed all the time as much as you can and keep try not sanitizer. to touch your face yeah keep it uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, oh, he got a whole, he got a, a whole big old thing of sanitizer over here. Not the little mini. Not the mini. Yeah, he got a big old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but I gotta refill it. As you can see, it's running out. <laughs> yeah, he been using it. I be using it. Boy. Cause it, this is not the first pandemic. No, it's not. So it's not. we, you know what's crazy? Think about this. Since we've been alive, think about how swine flu, bird flu. Ebola. Ebola. Uh, we just survived a lot of like threatening viruses, yeah. bro. Like we can survive a lot of stuff. If you a '90s baby, '80s baby, like come on, man, we can survive a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna run in here and we're gonna look around. You know what I'm saying? Do some little vloggy vlog. You okay. know, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's cool. We can, we do, can that. do that. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do go that. Ahead and do that. <sighs> ah! Yes, I am. Have you ever, yes. Oh, you recorded? Yes. Have you ever been to the drag strip? I have not. You I have, have not. Go. You when might is like it? it. Um, it's the summertime, so it's like every Saturday, Sunday. Oh, okay. All right, so we're in Parkway Place Mall. Yeah. So we could this. All right. Careful getting on these uh, these elevators. Bro. Yeah, you don't want to fall. You don't want to fall. Man. That, that'll be bad. Hero. Yeah. All right. So we turn this brightness. Spencer's. Okay. Spencer's. I ain't been here in a minute. I. Mess. No, I don't have any. Okay. So close to seven. Okay. Okay. Hello, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? up? <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. Okay, so everybody is turning us down because we don't have a mask on. Yeah. So and, that's trash. And I should definitely have one on, you know. Yeah, me I too. I left it at home, so. Yeah, of course. But, you know, gotta stay safe. I get it. I get it. Hey, everybody's looking at us like we're crazy. Yeah, but <laughs> like it, it, in this day and age, they know that we're YouTube. Right, they that's true. That. They should know that. Yeah. It's a thing. You got a whole camera. Yeah, <laughs> old camera and a tripod. Exactly. What you think we doing? Right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. And you get what? A call for who? Say <laughs> <laughs> so we can go to Hallmark. We'll go to Hallmark. But yeah, so I guess we're going to head back to the car and... She's gonna go and meet with her friends. She's coming up here. Okay, she's coming up here. Okay. Yeah, but everything's closing, so I guess we can. She, um, I don't know, but she just ate. Oh, so, you yeah. be having fun at Decatur, don't you? No, definitely not. <laughs> you should have seen the way that woman. <laughs> that woman looked at us. She's she just looked like she didn't want to be bothered with us. 